legend of Stingy Jack. Every Halloween, millions carve faces into pumpkins, lighting them up with glee. But how many of us truly know the haunting tale behind this glowing tradition? While many of us are familiar with witches, ghosts and ghouls, there's a lesser-known legend that's deeply woven into the very fabric of this spooky celebration. Prepare to be taken on a journey to ancient Celtic lands, where the tale of a cunning trickster named Stingy Jack gave birth to one of Halloween's most iconic symbols, the Celtic roots. In the rolling hills and misty moors of ancient Ireland, storytelling was more than just entertainment. It was a way of preserving history, of passing down morals, and of connecting generations. Among these tales, one stands out not only for its cunning protagonist, but also for its lasting impact on our Halloween traditions. Long before the first jack-o'-lantern was carved in the New World, the Celt had their own version of this tradition. But instead of pumpkins, they used turnips. The story behind this peculiar choice takes us to a man known in folklore as Stingy Jack. Jack's encounter with the devil. Stingy Jack wasn't just any character in Celtic legends. He was notorious, a trickster, a deceiver, a miserable old drunk, and quite the character in local taverns. But what made Jack infamous wasn't just his tight-fisted nature or his penchant for alcohol. It was his audacity to trick the most cunning being of all, the devil himself. On a dark Halloween night, as the wind howled outside and the moon cast long, eerie shadows, Jack sat in a dimly lit public house, enjoying his drink. That evening, his reputation for mischief and deception had drawn the very devil to him. Intrigued by tales of Jack's craftiness, the devil decided it was time to claim his soul. However, Jack, always with a trick up his sleeve, proposed an offer, his soul in exchange for one final drink. With no money to settle the tab, Jack dared the devil to showcase his powers by transforming into a silver coin. Amused and confident, the devil obliged. Yet Jack outsmarted him again. Instead of paying for the drink, Jack slipped the coin next to a cross in his bag, trapping the devil. Desperate and confined, the devil found himself at Jack's mercy. With a smirk, Jack struck a deal. He'd release the devil, but only if his soul remained untouched for the next ten years. Cornered, the devil had no choice but to agree to Jack's terms, the devil's promise. As ten years passed swiftly, Jack's reputation grew, but so did the shadow of the promise he had extracted from the devil. As the day approached, Jack knew he couldn't rely on mere luck. He had to outsmart the devil once more. Meeting again on the predetermined day, the devil was ready to claim what he believed was rightfully his. But Jack, thinking on his feet, made a simple request before he was taken. He wanted one last meal, and he desired an apple from a nearby tree. Seeing no harm in the request, the devil climbed the tree. But as he reached for the juiciest apple, Jack quickly carved a cross into the bark, trapping the devil once again. From high in the tree, the devil realized he'd been outwitted again and Jack negotiated another deal. He would release the devil only if he promised never to take Jack's soul to hell. Left with no other choice and burning with indignation, the devil agreed. Jack had ensured that hell's gates would remain closed to him, but as the story unfolds, the crafty trickster would soon learn that outsmarting the devil has its own set of consequences. Stingy Jack's death. Years went by. And as all mortal beings do, Jack eventually faced the end of his days. As he passed from the world of the living, he ventured to the gates of heaven, seeking solace in the afterlife. But due to his deceitful ways and life filled with mischief, heaven denied him entry. With heaven's doors closed to him, Jack descended to the gates of hell, hoping to find a place there. But he was met with a bitter irony. The devil, still nursing the sting of humiliation from their past encounters, kept his promise and refused to allow Jack into hell. But he didn't let Jack leave empty-handed. Laughing at the trickster's plight, the devil threw Jack a single burning ember to light his way in the endless night of limbo. Lost and condemned to wander the earth for eternity, Jack placed the ember inside a hollowed-out turnip, 
his makeshift lantern guiding him through the cold, dark world. The origin of the jack-o'-lantern. In the shadowed corners of Ireland and across the Celtic lands, tales of Stingy Jack's endless wandering began to spread. Whispers in taverns and stories by firesides spoke of a lost soul, carrying a lantern made from a turnip, forever trying to find his way. As the years went by, the legend evolved, becoming an integral part of the Samhain tradition. People began to carve their own versions of Jack's lantern. They hollowed out turnips, rutabagas, and other root vegetables, placing a burning ember or candle inside. These lanterns were placed outside homes, serving a dual purpose, to remember the tale of Stingy Jack and to ward off any malevolent spirits that roamed during the thinning veil between worlds on Samhain night. But the legend of Stingy Jack took on a new life when it crossed the Atlantic. Irish immigrants brought the tale with them to America, where they discovered the pumpkin, a fruit native to the New World. Larger, easier to carve, and with a more menacing presence when lit, the pumpkin quickly became the preferred choice for these lanterns. The tradition continued to evolve, and the term Jack-O-Lantern was coined, a direct nod to the restless spirit of Stingy Jack and his eternal lantern. And so, a centuries-old Celtic legends transformed into one of Halloween's most beloved and enduring symbols in the new world, modern traditions. Today, the Jack-O-Lantern stands as an iconic beacon of Halloween festivities. Its glow lights up porches, windows and walkways, casting eerie shadows and embracing the spirit of the spooky season. But few who carve these ghoulish faces into pumpkins might realize the depth of the legend they're partaking in. From intricate designs to simple, classic faces, every Jack-O-Lantern tells a story. Some might see it as mere tradition or an engaging craft, but in each flickering candle or light, the essence of Stingy Jack persists, reminding us of the blend of humor, mischief, and cautionary tales that are weaved into the very fabric of Halloween. Furthermore, the legend serves as a testament to the evolution of cultural practices, how a story from the misty landscapes of Ireland found resonance in the vast expanse of America, adapting and flourishing, is a remarkable journey in itself. It demonstrates the power of storytelling, of migration, and of the human need to celebrate, remember, and sometimes to ward off the darkness. Every glowing jack-o'-lantern this Halloween is a nod to Stingy Jack's legendary mischief. As we carve and light up our pumpkins, we're not just celebrating, we're also connecting with an age-old tale from a world far from our own. This year, as you delve into the spirit of Halloween, remember the stories that started it all 